What's up guys, my name's Midtown Jack. Ah, I'm just messing with you. My name's Midtown and welcome back to another episode of In 5 Minutes where we're gonna try and get you started with music production in around about five minutes. So on the first episode we got started with the basics and at the time we were super proud of our little tune. But now you're thinking, hey, what if it actually sounded good? So let's get cracking. Now as much as our little song is a great start, there's certainly a lot that we could do to improve it using third-party plugins. And the first one we're gonna need is a good synth. So let's head back over to Google and type in Lennar Digital. Head over to their 90s ass looking website and grab yourself a copy of Silent One. Silent One is like the Swiss army knife of EDM production and pretty much all music production really. Head over to the purchase section, grab yourself a copy and like you, you've been on the internet before, you've bought something online, you've been on eBay, I ain't gonna hold your hand. Once you've downloaded and installed it, make sure you restart Ableton, head over to the left hand menu, click on plugins and if you're playing along at home, there's should be a copy of Silent One. Let's get started by getting rid of that stupid ass bass and dragging a copy of Silent onto our bass track. Oh, by the way, I've gone in and renamed all our tracks to help keep our project organized. To rename any track, just right click on it, hit rename and call it whatever you want. Now, Silent should pop straight up. If it doesn't, just click this little wrench icon down the bottom corner. While it may look pretty overwhelming, we're gonna simplify it right off the bat. Let's just get started with some presets. On this little screen in the middle, if you click the top of it, it'll open up the presets menu. If this isn't enough for you, just click through the one, two, three and four buttons to open open up even more preset lists. In your preset menu, you'll see a whole list of sounds started with small abbreviations. These are important to note because they're pretty common across all synthesizers. ARP stands for ARP, HOV for Hoover, Key is for Keyboard, LD for Lead, BS for Bass. That's not what it stands for, I know what you're thinking. Today we want a bass, so we'll click on the first one, make sure the area we want to audition is looping, and hit spacebar to play. Oh dear. We may need to raise that bass up an octave. To do that, double click on the clip to open up the piano roll, hit Command A to select all the notes, hold Shift and press up or down on your keyboard. Now that sounds like garbage, so let's start auditioning some presets. Go back to silence and hit the right arrow to scroll through the presets. That's better. And the beauty is you can add as many instances of silence as you want. Let's head over and drag another copy of silence down to the empty space beneath the bass track and we'll add a lead layer. Put in some MIDI notes. You could add another layer to give the lead a little more depth. And perhaps even some synth snaps. If you want to learn to customize your silent preset sound, well, this is in five minutes, not in 50 minutes. But a great place to start is adjusting the oscillator waveform. The oscillator is the source of the sound and changing the waveform will change the texture of that sound. The amp envelope is used to shape the sound over time. and can be used to make the sound longer or shorter, have more attack or seem more subdued. And finally, the filter control. This will adjust how muted the sound feels. Silent also has a bunch of built-in awesome effects that you can play around with. All right, so our song's sounding better, but you might be thinking, Midtown, it's starting to get a bit messy. There's a bit too much going on. Well, the good news is we can fix that with audio effects. Click and drag the EQA onto our lead. Now, equalization is a topic for a whole video in itself, but basically all you have to think about is your car stereo. You've got your lows, mids, and highs. The lows are like your bass and your kick drums. The mids are like your leads and your vocals. And the highs are like the hi-hats or the maracas. A lead is a mid to high range sound, so we don't really need the bottom end. We're reserving that area for the kick and the bass. The EQ is made up of nodes listed one through eight that have an on off button and a drop down menu to select a filter. We're gonna select the high pass filter. Drag up the high pass filter until you hear the lead start to thin, then back it off a little bit. There, we just got rid of a whole bunch of bottom end content that didn't even need to be there, making more room for the kick and the bass. Do the same thing for your other leads and stamps by copying and pasting the EQ. You can even do the same thing for the hi-hats and the claps that we added last time. Finally, the next thing we're gonna do is some sidechain compression. Sidechain compression is a great way to make elements of your track fit together better, as well as create that rhythmic pulsing feeling that's really popular in dance music. To get started, we're gonna group all our leads together. To do this, just hold shift and select all the lead layers, right click and choose group tracks. Now, anything we put on the group group will affect all the leads at once. Rename our group, lead group. Go over to the audio effects and drag a compressor onto the lead group. Now the compressor may not look like much, but if we click the drop down arrow, we get access to a whole bunch of hidden features. You want to turn on the side chain. In the audio from box, we're going to go in and select our kick. Hit play and start pulling down the threshold. As you pull down the threshold, the leads will begin to duck in volume in relation to the kick drum. Adjust the threshold ratio, attack and release to get that bounce just right. From here, continue to add more samples, more silent layers, and start to even structure your song. Create breakdowns, create builds, create drops, but more on that next time. My name's Midtown Jack, and this has been another In 5 Minutes production tutorial. I'll see you next time.